weekly paper number 10, question number 1 part A. Uh, you are given uh, write cos A plus B. Uh, cos A plus B equals cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Yeah. Right. Hence, obtain a similar expression for cos A minus B. Uh, put uh, minus b for b uh, cos then here minus b means a minus b cos a cos minus b minus sin a sin minus b cos minus theta is cos theta then uh, we can write without minus sign here this minus sign you can take out then plus sin a sin b left hand side we have cos a minus b right ok uh, next one asking uh, show that uh, cos pi by 12 180 divided by 12 means uh, 15 right uh, here uh, put a equals 45 b equals 13 cos 45 minus 30 cos 45 cos 30 plus sin 45 sin 30 here 15 no? so 15 means uh, pi by 12 in radians huh? here 1 over root 2 cos 30 root 3 by 2 sin 45 1 over root 2 sin 30 half then we get cos pi by 12 uh, root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 ok uh, second part asking uh, in the usual notation state and prove the sign rule for a triangle ABC ok the sign rule and its proof we have done so therefore I am not going to do that huh? now the question in a triangle ABC is the midpoint of the side BC and BDA 5 by 4, BCA 5 by 6 and BAD alpha using the sign rule for the triangles ABD and ADC I show that this answer hence uh, show that pi alpha 5 by 6 right then we can take that like this the diagram there the midpoint D B C this is 5 by 4 this is 5 by 6 Uh, and uh, <coughs> given this point as this point as a pi by 6 pi by 4 and uh, the angle alpha is uh, BAD BAD this is alpha right so asking to apply uh, so triangles A B D and A D C. Right, we'll apply the sign rule.
okay this angle we can take total is pi from that we subtract the sum of this and this pi by 4 plus alpha right pi minus pi by 4 plus alpha right okay uh, then we can write uh, ad by sine rule so triangle abd we put the sine rule then ad divided by sine the angle is pi minus pi by 4 plus alpha equals next one bd this divided by sine of this this divided by sine of this bd over sine alpha sine pi minus theta means sine theta then this is really if we take this angle as theta sine pi minus theta is sine theta sine pi by 4 plus alpha then we can subject this uh, bd bring this here and subject bd right bd you can write ad sin alpha upon sin pi by 4 plus alpha right this is bd and uh, we are given this d is the midpoint right therefore the length this and this are equal huh? also by the other triangle ACD we can write A D divided by sine pi by 6 hmm? this length divided by uh, sine of this and then C D divided by okay sine here <coughs> this angle you know this angle plus this angle is pi by 4 therefore this angle going to be pi by 4 minus pi by 6 pi by 4 minus pi by 6 mean pi by 12 correct no then ad over sin pi by 6 equals cd over sin pi by 4 minus by 6 right here uh, sin 30 right sin 30 uh, half <coughs> then uh, we can again subject ad here cd over this sin pi by 6 when you take to right that is half sin here pi by Now, here we have AD for this AD. I substitute the answer of AD here. Then uh, we can take here number one, this number two, right? Then we can uh, substitute for the AD here. Then we get by one and two. BD is equal to sin alpha upon sin pi by 4 plus alpha. This part I wrote, I had substitute for this AD. CD upon sin pi by 2. Hmm. CD upon 2 sin pi by 12. Okay, you know this BD and CD. BD is this. CD is this. They are equal now can be cancelled down like this. Then what is asking there? To take the first answer, ah yes. Uh, okay. Then I can bring this here, this. Right. And then uh,
sin pi by 4 plus alpha and uh, 2 sin pi by 12 equal sin alpha this we get now. Okay, now I multiply both sides by cos pi by 12, then we get sin pi by 4 plus alpha into 2 sin pi by 12 cos pi by 12 equals sin alpha into cos pi by 12. Here, pi by 12 is 15, no? So, sin 15 into cos 15. So, sin 15 into cos 15 means sin 30. Okay. Sin pi by 4 plus alpha. Here, sin 30 is equal to sin alpha cos pi by 12. Okay. So, sin 30 is half this is half. When you use this two cross multiplication, we get sin pi by 4 plus alpha is equal to 2 sin alpha into cross pi by 12. That we got 2 sin alpha cos pi by 12 is equal to sin alpha plus pi by 4. Hence, I ask you to show alpha pi by 6. Take cos pi by 12 as this answer. Right. Uh, that we can do. We can now expand this sin a plus b. Using sin a plus b, you can expand that. Huh? We will expand that. sin a plus b expansion you know sin a plus b sin a cos b sin pi by 4 cos alpha plus cos pi by 4 sin alpha is uh, 2 sin alpha into cos pi by 2 we will divide this by cos alpha, we will divide this by cos alpha, meantime substitute for sin pi by 4 1 over root 2, then 1 over root 2 cos pi by 4 1 over root 2 sin alpha by cos alpha tan alpha 2 tan alpha here. right? Cos pi by 2L asking to take uh, the answer root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. This we proved. This and this you can cancel down. Then we can bring this to this right hand side, 1 over root 2. Then there we have uh, this uh, root 2 and tan alpha common, you can take out. Then tan alpha over root 2, uh, then within bracket we get root 3 plus 1. Once we take this right hand side, we get this, no? Minus 1. This 2 we can cancel down, this 2 we can cancel down. Then 1 equals. Bring this here. Then alpha is equal to 1 over root 3. That means alpha 30 pi by 6.
alpha five by six. <coughs> okay, uh, next part inverse trigonometry question. So the equation tan inverse one minus x upon one plus x equals half tan inverse x, right? You can write it like this. Tan inverse one minus x upon one plus x equals half tan inverse x. Okay. Now uh, we'll take this whole thing as alpha. This one is beta. Then uh, alpha equals tan inverse one minus x upon one plus x. Beta tan inverse x. Then tan alpha equals one minus x upon one plus x tan beta equals x. Right now this equation I can write alpha equals beta by 2 no. That means uh, using cross multiplication 2 alpha equals beta. Now you can write tan on both sides. Take tan on both sides. Tan 2 alpha equals tan beta. Tan 2 alpha you know 2 tan alpha divided by 1 minus tan squared alpha equals tan beta. Okay, now <coughs> we can uh, substitute for tan alpha by this answer. For tan beta, we can put x. Right. I'll put that here. Uh, 2 tan alpha 1 minus 6 divided by 1 plus 6. This is 2 tan alpha all thing divided by 1 minus tan squared alpha 1 minus x upon 1 plus 6 perfect squared equals tan beta x. Right now, we will multiply <coughs> both the numerator and divider by 1 plus x squared in 2 times 1 minus x into 1 plus x coming because I multiply this by 1 plus x squared. 1, x, 1 plus x term will cancel here. This one now, 1 plus x squared and uh, minus, this will cancel, 1 minus x perfect squared equals x. This is we get. Hmm? Now, here numerator 1 minus x, 1 plus x means 1 minus x squared. We expand this, 1 plus 2x plus x squared minus 1 minus 2x plus x squared equals x. Huh? Then this uh, x squared minus x squared we can cancel down. 1 and minus 1 we can cancel down. 2x minus minus 2x is here 4x. Bring that to right hand side. Removing term the bracket left hand side. 2 minus 2x squared. Right. Here 2x plus 2x for x squared. Take this right hand side. 2 equals 6x squared, cancel down this and this, x squared equals 1 upon 3, x equals plus or minus 1 over root 3, plus or minus 1 over root 3, right. But we are given x is positive, we are given x positive, 
therefore the answer going to be 1 over root 3 right x positive right x is positive therefore x is 1 over root 3 that we can take that answer uh, question number 2 Okay, uh, a uniform road AB of weight W is suspended from a point C by two equal light string joined to A and B. Now, a weight 2W is suspended from A. When the system is in equilibrium, if the road makes an angle alpha with the vertical and the angle between the strings is 2 beta, show that this answer. Right now, right now, uniform road AB of eight W. Yes. Now, when the uniform rod is suspended, these are the two strings, two uh, equal strings, no? Right? Again, that means the lengths are equal. So, therefore, when we suspend like this, here tension t, tension t here we have, then the center of gravity <coughs> here weight of the road passing through the point this weight given as w no now another weight 2 w is suspended from here right the tension still passing through this point see because of this 2 w suspended here the system will turn this way right system will turn this way so that the result of W and 2 W will be in between these two points acting like this, no 3 W. Until this 3 W <coughs> weight its line passing through this point C, this will turn this way. That is the diagram we must draw. Okay? The diagram we must draw. <coughs> right. So <coughs> the diagram is this now. Right now, <coughs> the tension being different now. The two tensions, two forces acting at A and B on the road, they meet at C, you know. Then the total weight, that in the sense, the resultant of the two weights, W and 2W, right, that should pass through the point C. Then this should be the point where the result of W and 2W act. Then the midpoint here, weight acts W here 2W. Now, we are given next one, angle between the strings is 2 beta. 
this is 2 beta right so then these two angles are equal reason this uh, two strings are equal given then uh, the sum of these two angles going to be 180 minus 2 beta when we divide by 2 we get 90 minus beta Here 90 minus beta is 90 minus beta okay now other thing is uh, if I assume the a length of the rod dash 2 a since it is uniform this length is a uh, then this length should also be a right now this ratio you know the result of w and 2 w this point divide this line segment from here to here in the ratio this is 2 uh, and this is 1 no is to 1 right now we can find the <coughs> length this from here to here the length you can find how whole length is a this point divides that in the ratio 2 is to 1 right so then at the ratios right 3 divide a by 3 and multiply by 2 right then here we can then find the whole length from here to here hmm. this length I am seeing now this length here a plus 2 a by 3 right then here to here a ratio 2 is to 1 total is 3 divide a by 3 and take two parts to get this length right so the length from here to here this is a by 3 ok now we are given the road makes an angle alpha with the vertical that means this angle ok this angle alpha given if this angle is alpha this is 180 minus alpha ok now we can apply cot theorem how Using these two angles, we can apply cot theorem. Hmm. What is that? M plus N cot of this. We know when we take these two angles, we use this ratio into this side angle cot minus this and this. That we know. Then you can write M plus N means since we are going to use the actual length m plus n as our ratio we are going to use actual length therefore actual length of the rod is 2a m plus n right 2a right cos cot 180 minus alpha is equal to the length from here to here a by 3 cot 90 minus beta minus here what do you get a plus 2 a by 3 means 3 a plus 2 a 5 a by 3 5 a by 3 
90 minus beta i. C can be cancelled down, no? Cot 180 minus alpha is minus cot alpha. Right, cot 90 minus beta means tan beta, no? 3 you can take out here. Tan beta <coughs> here minus 5 tan beta. Then you get here minus 2 cot alpha one third minus 4 tan beta. This we can cancel down minus sign we can, we can remove right cot alpha is 1 over tan alpha <coughs> 2 third tan beta. Then bring this here, this here, this use tan alpha tan beta 3 by 2 this is the answer. That we that we can take that answer. Right. Okay, the next one uh, question number. Uh, question number 3 uh, says something like this uh, uniform rod AB is in equilibrium with its end A in contact with the smooth peg and with the force P applied to end B as shown in the diagram. If the force P makes an angle beta with the vertical and rod makes an angle pi by 6 with the horizontal, show that tan beta equals root 3 by 5. Okay, right. At here, the diagram I can draw there. This way, we have the rod. Here, pig. By this pig, uh, we get normal reaction. This we are a ninety. Rod makes with uh, the horizontal pi by six angle. <coughs> then this is a uniform rod, center of gravity is at the midpoint. Right here, R and W they meet here. Then the force P should definitely pass through this point. Why? <coughs> we know when any object is in equilibrium under the action of three forces, the three forces must meet at a point. <coughs> that is the reason, right? This R should pass through the point, this. W is this P is this. They must meet at a point. P makes with the vertical beta angle beta. Right now <coughs> this angle, the middle angle, this here 30, therefore this whole thing is 60, when you subtract this 60 minus beta. Uniform road, 
ratio 1 is to 1, if you produce this line this way, here 90, this is 60, this also 60. Then we can apply again cot theorem, here 90, 1 plus 1 cot 60 is equal to what? 1 plus 1 cot 60 is equal to 1 cot, 1 cot 60 minus beta minus 1 cot 90, okay. by cot theorem you can write, by cot theorem, hmm. by cot theorem we can write 1 plus 1, 2, 2 cot 60 is equal to 1 cot 60 minus beta, that end ratio into cot of this minus, this end ratio into cot 90, cot 90 is 0, cot 90 is 0. here cot 60, right, uh, cot six, uh, 60 is 1 over root 3, 2 over root 3 coming, cot 60 you can write as 1 over tan 60, no, tan 60 is right root 3, here this one you can write as 1 over tan 60 minus beta. Then we will use this way cross multiplication root 3 this way 2 tan 60 minus beta is equal to root 3. Right. You can expand this using tan a minus b tan 60 minus tan beta 1 plus tan 60 tan beta equals root 3. Okay, now simplify this, right, remove the bracket by multiplying this to 2 tan 60 root 3 minus 2 tan beta, use this one plus tan 60 root 3 into tan beta like this. Huh? Okay, now, when you take this, this side, root 3, root 3, 3 tan beta already we have there, when you take this right hand side, another 2 tan beta, hmm? then we get all together 5 tan beta. Here, this root 3, when you take this side, we get root 3. Then uh, tan beta we get root 3 by 5. You see, we get that answer. Okay. <coughs> Question number 4. At a certain moment, the motor crisis, the motor car B is a distance simply behind the motor car A. Right. <coughs> the motor car B is a distance simple D.
ab a a b simple d behind a at this moment the velocities of motor car a and b are 2u and 3u okay respectively and their accelerations 2f 3f this is 2f this is 3f right sketch velocity time graph on the same diagram for the motion of a and b <coughs> if after time capital t b overtakes a show that this answer right until uh, the overtaking takes place we have to draw the vt graph i max is with the axis here a has smaller velocity and smaller acceleration this is the vt graph right and b 3u 3f this is the vt graph is b it is a to you three you say this angle alpha at this angle beta <coughs> okay tan alpha acceleration to wave tan beta acceleration 3f let us take this time as capital t okay what is that capital t time capital t is the time b takes to overtake k okay now <coughs> right what is asking first if after time capital t b overtakes a show that this also at this moment find the distance traveled by a r ah, right right somewhere here if b overtakes a then the distance travel by a given by this right b has moved a distance simple d then a has moved that means <coughs> the difference of the distances traveled the distance traveled by b minus distance traveled by a should be equal to d that means the corresponding area is this this area this area is d right okay then we can take that area <coughs> uh you can find the this velocity right initial velocity is 2u acceleration is 2f time is capital t then this velocity we can write 2u plus 2 ft okay right now uh, this velocity in 
initial velocity is 3u, right? 3u plus 3ft. 3ft. I applied the v equals u plus 80 directly uh, without showing the calculations. Then uh, this area only, we need to find that area is d. That can be found, right? The whole area from the whole area will subtract this, then we get that d. Right. Then what do you get? Half. We can take people this as a <coughs> this part, the two side this and this are parallel. Then we can take the area, this is a trapezium, no? Yes. Half some of the parallel sides. One parallel side is here, this three u minus u, it's u. The other one, this. Then it is 3u minus 2u is u plus 3ft minus 2ft is ft. Okay. And this <coughs> distance between the parallel sides is t. Is equal to d. Here we get use the plasma plate. Here we have two u t plus f t squared. Then we get f t squared two u t minus two d equals zero. Right? This way we can take that. Area. This is a trapezium. Huh? <coughs> now, uh, next one asking. Also, find at this moment the distance travelled by A. At this moment, distance travelled by A is given by this area. This area. That also trapezium. Huh? Distance travelled by A. Right? If I take this, O A. This point as BC or ABC area only we need to find. It is half sum of the parallel sides. One is 2u, other side is 2u plus 2ft. Half sum of the parallel sides, 2u plus 2u plus 2ft. 2, 2, 2, we can cancel down with this. 2u plus ft. Half sum of the parallel sides into perpendicular height, huh? t. We get this way. Second one, <coughs> if f 1 over 8, u 5 over 8, and d 75 meters, find the time taken by b to overtake k. All right. So, then in this result, we will substitute those given thing. If given as 1 over 8 meters per second squared u 5 over 8 okay, and d 75. 
and once we substitute them <coughs> we get f t squared here t squared by 8 plus 2 pi over 8 t minus 1 50 equals 0. Here we get the quadratic equation simplifying this we get t squared plus 10 t minus 1200 equals 0, but then this throw out by 8. Huh? You can factorize this into two factors. Hmm? It is uh, t plus 40, t minus 30. This is positive because this is time, then this into this to be 0, t minus 30 should be 0, t equals 30 seconds is the next answer. If motor car A is A moves continuously with uniform velocity 2 u meters per second, so that the time taken by B to overtake A is given by this R A. Then <coughs> If this uh, motor car A moves with constant velocity to you, then the VT graph of A going to be this, right? Then, what is the total area? Now, here given uh, if motor car A moves continuously with uniform velocity to you, show that the time taken uh, by B to overtake A is given by this answer. Hmm? Then uh, the VT graph of A going to be this, right? Not this one. Then that the area right d going to be this all hmm? this is now d that can easily be found now still this is a trapezium hmm? that area you can write how half sum of parallel sides, right. So, then one side is this, p u minus 2 u u, this side, hmm? 3 u plus 3 f t subtract 2 u and height is t this, u is this, 3 u minus 2 u, that thing going to be from this subtract this 3 u plus 3 f t minus 2 u into this t equals now d. Then here we can simplify u 3 u 4 u minus 2 u 2 u 3 f t t equals 2 d. Now, remove bracket 3 f t squared 2 u t minus 2 d equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in t. This is a quadratic equation in t. Now, we can find two answers for this. We will use the quadratic formula t equals minus b to u plus or minus square root b squared for u squared 
minus 4 times a 3 f c minus 2 d divided by 2 times a. You know when you select this minus sign, this is minus, this is minus, then the time becomes negative, but time cannot be negative. So, therefore, we select plus sign here. Hmm? The plus sign we select. This 4, this 4 you can take out, that becomes out as 2, that 2, this 2 we can cancel on with this 2. Then I can do the simplification here itself like this equals minus u plus or minus square root here u squared plus 6 f d divided by 3 f ok uh, then taking plus sign we get down so no therefore t equals take the plus sign here because if you select this minus sign time become negative no? it is not possible therefore by this we can take t equals u squared plus 6 f d minus u divided by 3 f right is the time right this way we get 